Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to The Soul Drop and this is my performance review of the New Balance Fresh Foam BB. So this shoe retails for 130 bucks and this is kind of like Zach Levine's shoe, but not really. Zach Levine wears it, but it's not his actual signature shoe. Luka Doncic had a, a shoe with Jordan Brand before he got the Luka one, which was the Zoom Separate. Same thing with like Blake Griffin and like the Superfly. It wasn't like their shoe, but they kind of endorsed it, right? So yeah, this is New Balance's brand new shoe with Fresh Foam. So if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box, but let's get it started off with the Tracciones, and in this colorway, we have a fully translucent rubber, and they're using a hexagonal spiral traction pattern. As you guys can see, we have like these circle shapes going throughout the entire outsole, and uh, how does it perform? So uh, first of all, you don't really have to break it in. It's good pretty much right out the box. You have a really, really nice bite if you're playing on a clean court, and it has also a lot of squeak, super loud too, so if you like that, then this also has that. Of course, it doesn't have anything to do with performance, but uh, me, you know, include it, and I feel like a lot of people as well like to have a very nice, uh, loud squeak, you know? Uh, so if you're playing on a clean court, you don't have to break it in, and it has an amazing bite. I'd actually even say top tier bite, top tier stop. Uh, you're pretty much stopping on a dime, right? So this translucent rubber, I don't know what they're doing. Like companies, like five, six, seven years ago, translucent rubber used to not perform as well as solid rubber. But now, I feel like for the past two years, translucent has actually been really, really nice. The only thing I don't like about translucent also is that it gets dirty, right? And also it yellows. But of course, that's not really a performance feature, right? So clean court, you're gonna be good to go. Dust, however, it is a little bit of an issue, right? So if you are playing on dusty or dirty court, uh, you do have to wipe pretty frequently, right? Uh, and if you do wipe, you do have good stops again, but like I said, uh, it does pick up dust pretty quickly. So uh, I'd, I'd say like every two to three plays, right? Which isn't super bad, but you still have to wipe, which kind of does suck because there are shoes that I do play in where it doesn't really pick up dust that much. And I just do a very easy uh, wipe on those, right? The Fresh Foam BB also, you just need to do a super easy and slight wipe and you're good to go. It's just that it picks up dust fairly quickly so just be careful on that if you don't like to wipe then it's probably not the best option for you if you don't mind wiping and also wiping frequently then you should be fine uh, on dust in the fresh foam bb uh, as far as the durability goes durability seems uh okay um i guess there are a good amount of grooves but there is space between these individual spirals so it has doesn't have the most surface area right uh the grooves are deep and i guess pretty thick uh and the rubber seems like on the harder side of things so it's probably like uh, pretty good on an outdoor court. Of course, I didn't play on an outdoor court with the Fresh Foam BB, so just take that with a grain of salt. But overall traction performance was pretty damn good. Also, we have the New Balance logo here in the heel. And now moving on to the heel to toe transition, we have very smooth and very nice heel to toe transition. So here in the heel, we have a nice rounded and curved shape and also Fresh Foam, which uh, it is pretty caged here on the lateral side, but here in the heel and also on the medial side, it's not as caged. So there is nice soft compression, right? It's not clunky at all here in the heel and then the forefoot we have a nice curve shape and a good amount of forefoot flex you know it's actually super flexible it's not one of those shoes where it's like the wild 10 with a full-length carbon fiber plate and has a nice spring back to it this is more just like flexible which feels nice as well it's it's not bad and it's not good. It all depends on what your preference is. I, sometimes I like to play in a shoe that has a lot of flexibility. Sometimes I like to have a shoe that's still flexible but has a springiness to it. Uh, it all depends on my mood that day, I guess. Uh, one thing I don't like is a super stiff sole, just in my personal opinion, like a uh, full length Air Max. You know, I'm playing like the LeBron 9. That has an Air Max unit, but also like the whole sole is super stiff. But anyways, the Fresh Foam BB is super smooth when you're doing heel dominant strides down the court. And now moving on to the cushioning setup so we got full length fresh foam and they're calling it fresh foam x right and it feels really really nice and it feels just like fresh foam in all of their other shoes you know so like how under armor and even nike with you know all their foams like react and stuff like that charged it's super stiff in their hoop shoes and i do understand hoop shoes we need more responsiveness you know if it's too soft and it's, it's a little like unstable and stuff like that so i do understand the stiffer cushion but it feels way different than the running shoes the running shoes are a lot softer so if i've tried flow or react in the running shoes and it's super soft and i that's what i would expect in a in the ball shoe but that's not the case in other companies but i do like how new balance gave us pretty much fresh foam, right? So fresh foam is super soft. There is a nice little rebound back, but it's not a super bouncy foam. I would say it's just more on the softer side of things, but it is super caged here on the lateral side. This is actually a really hard rubber, right? 
<laughs> it doesn't even compress at all when I press it with my fingers. But that makes sense because you don't want the fresh foam to be too soft here because it will create lateral instability. Uh, and also fresh foam is super soft, right? But as far as the overall foam goes, it feels really, really good. You have pretty good cord feel. I would say it's on par with like Kyrie's. It's not really, really good like Harden's, but it's still pretty good cord feel. Of course, here in the forefoot, you are lower to the ground and then here in the heel, it does get a little bit higher up. So there is a, a nice offset. Uh, you do have nice compression, however, here in the heel, it feels great. So in the back of the heel and also on the medial side, you do have nice compression. It's soft. And then when you're doing heel dominant strides on the court, it has a little bit of a rebound back, which also feels great. And the forefoot, of course, not, not as much. You know, uh, impact protection is also really good, especially on heel strikes because fresh foam, there's a, a nice compression. The insole is all right. It's just a regular like kind of orsolite insole. And then underneath that, we have kind of like a stiffer strobe board so it's not super soft and super great for underfoot cushioning and step and comfort but it's not terrible uh, so if you're looking for a responsive cushion right with pretty good core feel good impact protection it's soft and comfortable with a nice little rebound back in the heel then this is a great option it's not anything crazy you know it doesn't have a crazy bounce crazy compression but i would say it's a really nice overall all-around cushioning setup so I did like the cushioning setup and now moving on to the materials. So they're calling this an engineered fit weave, right? It says fit weave right here on the medial side and it's actually pretty damn nice. It's soft, right? And it's thin. It doesn't feel really cheap at all. I guess besides kind of like the fuse, but it's not terrible. And it just conforms to your foot super well, but also just like, really supportive there's zero stretch to it so i do like this material it's really really nice right um probably like i said probably not the best for quality we do have some fuse here in the tip of the toe for extra durability and support uh, but it feels great in the forefoot it also stays extremely thin here in uh, the midfoot too uh, i would actually say uh if you guys can see there's less kind of like knots on the lateral and medial sides of the shoe. It's just like a lot softer. It feels actually a little bit less glued down than the toe box. Right? The toe box feels a little bit more supported for some reason. But yeah, super thin here in the midfoot. The tongue, there's like an average amount of padding, right? It's a pretty, like a fairly large tongue. It's also half booty construction tongue, which gives you an overall better one-to-one -one fit and keeps the tongue in place. The ankle area has very little a foam, right? Super minimal foam. And also there are Achilles or ankle bone pads. It's like on the sides of the shoe and also like way down here, which is weird. I've never seen pads like that. It doesn't really do anything. I don't know why they added it like all the way down there, but either way, it's a very minimal feeling upper, right? But also super supportive and it conforms your foot very well, right? I guess they could have used better quality materials like, like here in the, in the heel. We do also have this plastic thing it's not really a heel counter. There is an internal TPU heel counter, but not, I don't think really this really helps. It seems like a softer type of plastic. Also on the tongue, you know, whatever like this synthetic uh, material is, not the best either, right? Uh, but it gets a job done for performance and on foot. So uh, overall, I really like the materials. Now moving on to the fit, I went true to size and it fits me extremely well, right? So uh, as far as, you know, the length goes, there is a little bit of length, right? But uh, if I went down half a size, I feel like it would be too short and also probably really, really snug here in the toe box. So going through the size was really good for me. Also in the toe box, it is a snug fit. It's not super snug, but it is quite snug. So I like that as well. And then width wise, I would say it's slightly narrow. Uh, it's not wide. It's not super narrow. I would say it's a little narrow. I can feel uh, like the sides squeezing my foot just a tiny bit, which also I do like because I like to have a very snug fit in my ball shoes. Uh, so yeah, I was good going true to size. Feel like a nice snug fit. Going true to size should be good to go. If you have a wide foot or you want a roomier fit in the toe box, probably just go up half a size and should be fine, right? And now moving on to the support in lockdown, zero issues for me as well, right? So as far as lateral containment goes, as you guys can see, the foam does come up to act as a sidewall and actually says on the site that we have an EVA lateral cage. So I'm guessing it's just this like blue part, right? Um, but either way, here in the forefoot, it comes up to act as a side one. Also, like I said, uh, the material is quite supportive. And then here in the heel, we have the foam coming up acting as a sidewall and there's an internal TPU heel counter. So lateral containment, I was good to go. There's really nothing here in the midfoot, but you don't really need anything in the midfoot if you have something here in the forefoot and heel, right? And even if you're a bigger guy, you should be good to go for lateral containment as well. Lateral stability was also very good, right? Uh, here in the forefoot, as you guys can see, we do have uh, the midsole and also protruding out a little bit, creating for a more wide bait so lateral stability is good this is kind of like a mid top shoe kind of right um but doesn't really restrict ankle movement that much so ankle support isn't the best but if you want a little sum sum on your ankle then i guess this is a good option right 
And now moving on to the weight of the shoe. Uh, this shoe is actually fairly light, if I remember correctly. It just, it feels really light, right? So 11.25 ounces, let's check the other pair. 11.22 ounces, right? So at the average weight of my shoes is around 12 and a half ounces. So 11.2 is definitely pretty damn light. And yeah, it feels light on foot. It feels super minimal because of the upper. And a fresh foam is just like a super low density foam, which I like. And also it's a very responsive shoe. Traction is really, really good. Uh, and if you do keep up with your wipes on a dusty court, you still get good traction. The foam overall is responsive too. You know, it's not too soft, it's not too mushy, but it's, it's still like soft and has nice compression. Support's great, it fit me well. Uh, so I did feel very quick when I was playing in this shoe. And now moving on to the ventilation. Ventilation's all right. Uh, not a whole lot of airflow through this material. <sighs> There's actually an underlying material it feels like, uh, but it is a thin material, so it doesn't keep in heat that well. So I would say ventilation is all right. And now moving on to the aesthetics, I like it. It's a great looking shoe, like the overall silhouette. This colorway is great. And the other colorway that they came out with, it's like a black and red and blue colorway with a tr also a translucent outsole. That one looks pretty good too. It's available on newbalance.com as I'm filming this right now. Hopefully it's not sold out by the time this, sh uh, this video releases. Um, but yeah, I do like the overall look of this shoe. So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. And now wrapping things up. Yes, this is a very, very nice shoe. Super nice performer and it will definitely be in my rotation. Uh, it'll it'll be in it like kind of loosely though just because i mean i don't mind wiping right uh, i don't really mind wiping that much either it's just that if i don't have to wipe and if there are other options for me where i don't have to wipe and there's good or better performance on dust then i'll pick those shoes over the the fresh foam bb just because um i can right um but uh, if I didn't have that option, then the Fresh Foam BB is still a great perform because like I said, I don't mind wiping. And it wasn't to the point where it's like super dangerous either, right? Some shoes, if, if it gets super dirty for the outsole, then it starts to slide around and it gets a little dangerous. Uh, but for this, it's just not a good bite. That's it. So that's also not a terrible thing. Uh, but if you're playing on a clean court, amazing bite. Cushion also is super nice with the fresh foam. Uh, the material is very thin. It's supportive overall. It's lightweight. It's a responsive shoe. It's a great looking shoe too. Uh, so I would recommend it for like a lot of players too. If you're a point guard and you need a responsive shoe with uh, soft cushion, this is a great option. If you're a bigger dude, uh, has great support, has great cushion. Uh, so you should be good to go as well. So I feel like it's just a great overall all around shoe for most people and I feel like most people will enjoy it too. Uh, so yeah, the Fresh Foam BB is approved by the Soul Drop. Uh, and again, if you guys do want to cop, I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.